Hi everyone and welcome back. My name is Colleen and I'm an instructor at the Ron Rosner Family YMCA and today we have a fun bar video for you. Um, if you recall well, last week we did Tabata and the weeks before we were doing some with weights. Today we're going to put both of those together a little bit. We'll do a little section of an exercise with the weights. We'll put the weights down and do a mini Tabata, which is just four rounds instead of the full eight. Okay, you'll see how it is as we go. As far as equipment today, if you have a chair nearby or a counter that you can balance on, that'll be great. It'll help you out a little bit. If you have a set of weights or water bottles, we've gone through all the options before. Anything that you have at home that's safe, feel free to use. And also one other extra item today. If you have a ball at home, a soft, like about six inch ball, you could use that. Or if you don't have a ball, you can also use a pillow or a rolled up towel. We are going to use it for squats. We're going to put it right here between our legs, just to engage your inner thighs a little bit more. Okay, so you have all that equipment nearby, but make sure you have a nice big space to work out in, that you aren't tripping or stepping over anything, and you can move around without, again, getting hurt or tripping. And as always, before you get started, please make sure you have clearance from a medical professional. Okay, I'll turn on the music and we will warm up. Okay, and you've probably had a hard day. I hope everything's going well, but in case you have, we're just gonna start with those feet shoulder distance apart. Let's roll your shoulders back. Just roll them back and back. Nice deep breaths. Start waking up your whole body and roll them forward. 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 And good job. Squats here. Sink down and stay. Down and stay. Now add in those arms. Reach up. It's down. Reach. Down. Reach. Widen your stance just a little bit. There you go. Nice and wide squat. Sinking down, just like you're sitting in a chair, and then standing. Four, three, two, and then we're gonna reach to one side. It's down, reach up, down, reach up. So you're squatting, and then reaching to one side. Down, reach. Let's make this a single, single double. So it's down, reach, down, reach, Reach to one side, same side, other way. Down, reach, down, reach, to this way. Again, down, reach, and two. Again, down, reach, and then two. Hold it here, down, stand. Four, three, two. Go ahead, hold it down, bring your hands to your thighs. That should feel the lean a little bit farther forward. And now just drop one shoulder, drop one, and the other, again. One, drop your shoulder. Four, three, two, Last one, stand back up, neck side to side. Knees and toes are facing forward. Three, two, slow it down, stay towards one side, stay here and stand, down, stand. You can do whatever you need to with your arms. We're gonna lift this leg up, it's down, step in, step in. Make that a knee if you'd like. It's down, knee. You can always keep your toe on the ground if you need to. Four, three, two. Hold your balance on that next one. Hold it. Find your balance, fight for it. Yep, I had to fight for it. It's okay to tap your toe down if you need to. Now we're going to open and close. Yep, open, close. There you go. Find that spot to look at. Look straight at the camera if you need to. 
and then hold it open. You're gonna take this knee back in a curtsy lunge. Take it back, curtsy, and tap. Curtsy, and tap. Curtsy, and tap. Let's speed that up. Curtsy, two, three, keep going. Four, three, two, hold it back. I'm just changing so you get a little better, little better angle. You're here. Lower that back heel and lift. Lower and lift. Four, three, two, last one. Bring it back in. Feet are shoulder distance apart. All ten toes facing forward, side to side, side. Four, three, two, tap this leg in so it's here, in. Stand tall, more is strong, chest is lifted as you stand, down, lift, add a knee when you're ready. Four, three, two, hold that next one up, find your balance. Yes, fight for it, good job. From here, open and close, open and close. You can always hold on here if you need to. Whatever you need to do with your arms to help you balance. Four, three, two, hold it out to the side. You're gonna step back in that curtsy lunge. I'm just scooting over so you can see, here we go. It's back and tap to the side. Back, tap. Four, three, two, hold it back. Lower and lift that back heel. Lower, lift, lower, lift. Whatever you need to with your hands. Four, three, two, Last one, bring those legs back, squat, squat. Good job. Four, three, two, hold that at the bottom this time. Core is strong, lifting through your core, chest is open, hold. And little this here, lift, 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 four, three, Two, leave it there. Can you lift your heels and lower? Heels. Notice my body's not moving very far at all. Just shifting that weight. Lower, two, three, four. Lift your heels, one, two. Lower for four, four, three, two. Two heels, lift, lift. Good job, all. Come on up. Shake all that out. Everything should be nice and warm. If you need a little bit more, you can always pause here and redo that warm up. If you don't, go ahead and grab your weights. Uh, okay, we are gonna start with plie. So your feet are more than shoulder distance apart. Toes turned out, weights right in front of your legs. Lower and lift, lower, lift, lower. Lift. When you're ready, add a bicep curl. Down. Lift. Four. Three. Two. Be careful here. We're not leaning forward. You're not coming forward like this. Nope. Back stays nice and tall, just like it's sliding up and down a wall. We're gonna add a press. So it's down. Press, bicep, press, bicep, press, bicep, press, bicep. You have options. You can keep your arms parallel if that feels better for your shoulder. Parallel here. And you can do a hammer curl. So you keep them parallel the whole way. Or you can turn out. So it's down. Sorry, skip that press. Down with the bicep curl, turn and press open. Down, do whatever feels best for your shoulders. Down, 
and up. Two more. Down and up. Last one down and up. Bring that plie down. Weights wreck down in front of your thighs. Then bring it out to the side. Lift your elbows if you can. Bicep curls here. In and out. In and out. In. In. Add the legs all the way and halfway. All the way and halfway. Keep breathing. Four, three, two. Hold it down. Give me goal post arms. You're here. Legs are nice and low. Bring those elbows in and out. In and out. Four, three, two. The last one. Bring that down. Weights go down. Make sure they're out of the way so you do not trip over them. You have to have a clear space. We're going to do that quick to bottom. Four rounds. It's just two exercises for this. The first one, it's just plie and step in like this. You can add arms up tall to make it a little bit more or you can jump. And I'll show you the next one when we get there. You ready? We're going to start right at our 20 seconds. So get in your plie position and let's go. You're stepping in, your arms in front, arms up and down. You can go faster or you can jump. You decide. Find your challenge. And I have to watch because it's not going to be. And 20 seconds. Take a break for 10 seconds. This time, you're going to plie down and bring the knee up on one side. Add a twist. You ready? Here we go. Bring one leg up. It doesn't matter which one. Down. Twist. 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 All the movements on that side. If you want to make this more cardio, go faster. Keep going. And rest. Back to the step ins and the jump. And then we'll twist to the other side. And that's your whole thing. Ready? Three, two, one, go. And it's plie step in. With keeping your arms still. Make your arms big. A little bit more. Or make it a jump. You decide. There you go. You got this. It's just 20 seconds. Go fast. Bring up that heart rate. And you're done. Breathe. We got the twists on the other side. Woo! You got this. And go. It's plie, twist. Plie, knee up and twist. Catch all those positions. Don't forget the plie at the bottom one if you're going fast. You gotta get that plie in. You're almost there. And you're done. Good work, grab some water if you need it. And then we're gonna move on to the next exercise. And I'm stopping my watch for our next two minutes about it. Okay, next one, you need your ball. If you have one, or you can use a pillow or take a towel and just roll it up. So you're going to put it right between your legs above your knee. Just above your knee, you never wanna put pressure on a joint. So it's above your knee. I'll turn sideways so you can see. We've got squats here. And actually you can grab your weights if you like. I forgot that part. Weights too. Roll those shoulders down and back. Ball is between your legs. Core is nice and strong. Shoulders down and back. Here we go. It's down and stay up. Down. Make sure your knee, feet, I'm turning again so you can see, aren't too far apart. You don't want them this close where you've got so much pressure on the ball you can't even straighten your legs. But you don't want them so far apart that your knees come in like this. If your knees are coming in like this, take a second. Check on them, make sure they're nice and square with your hips and moving back and forth. All 10 toes are facing forward and your knees are following. Keep sitting back. You got four, three, two. Hold it down. I'm turning so you can see. Elbows come up. Tricep kick back here. 
kick back. Four, three, two. Hold it back, just hold. Now squeeze your knees in, 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 in. Four, three, two. Hold it in. Try to kick back again. Kick back, kick back. Squeeze your knees in, squeeze in, 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 in. Back to the kickbacks. Back, back, back. And then squeeze in, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Can we do those together? Kick back and squeeze at the same time. Four, three, two, last one. Go ahead, stand up. Set the weight spot on the floor. You can take the ball out if you need to walk, but we're gonna keep using that. I know if you have a towel or something like that, it's even more challenging to walk, so feel free to move that up. Make sure you have space. We're gonna do another Tabata. It's just squats. It's all squat variations, okay? So we'll start with that ball. This time we're gonna start with it between your legs again, up right above your knee. Okay, and go, squat. You can just squat, you're here. You can make those arms big. You can come to your toes, or you jump. You find your challenge. You get that heart right up. Land softly. And you're done. 10 seconds. This time you're gonna take the ball out. And you are gonna use the ball. You're gonna squat down on one side, bring it up. Squat down to the other side. Let's go. It's down and up. Down, up, down. Try to touch that ball to the floor. If you're not there, it's okay. Touch your knee or the side of your leg. Here, just so you have a target. You're reaching down. And take your break. Back to between your legs at the ball. Squat jump or squat releve on your toes. Here we go. Just squat, squat, releve, or jump. Find your challenge. Move through this, get your heart rate a little bit lifted. It's just 20 seconds, you can do it. And one more. Take your break, bring your ball out, you're holding onto it or your towel, whatever you have with you today. We're gonna squat low, try to touch the ball to the floor. Let's go, down, up. Find those two pictures where you're down low and high, low and high. If you need more, go faster. Try not to drop your ball. Yeah, make your brain work a little bit too. And you're done. Great work, grab your water if you need it. Okay, next round is gonna be lunges. Lunges. You need to grab your weights again. You have, you're gonna start, we're gonna start with just a regular ski slope lunge and what we can call a proposal lunge. They'll make more sense. The proposal lunge is just feet or shoulder distance apart. You'll start with your right leg stepping back, both knees bend. Here we go. And it's back and stand. Very simple. Both knees bend and stand. Bend and stand. Bend. Let's add some shoulders to the side. Side and stand. Side and stand. Shoulder, your weights do not come above your shoulder, just up to shoulder height. You got two, four more. Four and stand. Three and stand. This time we're going to make it that long lunge. Long, see my back leg straight and stand. Long and stand. Add arms if you'd like in front. And stand. Long 
and stand. Four more. Long. Stand. Long. Stand. Long. And stand. One more. We're going to put those together. Start with the bent knee. It's bent. Long. Bend. And stand. Try that again. Woo. Bend. Long. Bend. And stand. Again. Bend. Notice I'm upright. Long lunge. Bend. And stand. My upper body changes. Bend. Lean forward. Down. And stand. Keep going. Down. Forward. Down. And stand. Down. Lean forward. Down. And stand. Now hold that one back. Both knees bent. Hold. Hold. Now we're going to add in more arms. It's down. Curl up. Press. Down. Press. Legs do the same thing. Arms change. Down. Press. Down. Press. Down. Press. Hold the next one down. Down. Hold it there. Little this. Lift. 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 Four. Three. Two. The last one. Come on up. Shake that out. Depending on your point of view. The good news or bad news is you've got two legs. Other side. You can. I should have told you this earlier. But you can always put the weights down for this one and hold on if you need help with your balance. You totally can do that. You pay attention to your body and do what makes sense. Shoulders down and back, weights by your side. Step back with that bent knee. It's back and stand. Good work. Back, both knees bend and stand. Back and stand. Four more. Back and stand. Yes, you still have to work on that balance. Add the arms when you're ready. And stand. I changed them, I know. <laughs> Down. And stand. And I'm giving you a couple more and I'll get out of the arms. One more. Arms down, switch the lunge. It's straight leg. Now you're leaning forward and stand tall. Your upper body stays in that nice long line. Yep, each time I have trouble with my balance because I keep looking up at the camera. You should be looking at a diagonal in front of you and then your balance will be better, I promise. Down. And stand. Down. Add the arms in front of you like down. Lift. Down. Just up to shoulder level. If you have light weights like I do right now, it would be really easy to go higher, but please don't. It's safe to stay right at shoulder level. Down and stand. Down and stand. Take the arms out. We'll put those together. It's bent. Lean. Bend. And stand again. Bend. Lean. This is the proposal lunge because you're kneeling down to propose. Bend, long, bend, and stand again. Down, long, bend, and stand. Let's hold it back, bend, hold it here. Hold it here, we're gonna down, lift, down, lift, down. Add arms when you're ready, down. Bicep, press, press, yep, just go through nice and slowly, arms are under control, do not throw those weights around, your movements should be deliberate and precise. Four, three, two, Last 
last one. Bring those weights down, hold. Little lifts, lift. Four, three, two, and come on up. Great job. Put those weights to the side. We have that other Tabata. Just four. It's gonna be lunges. It's gonna be a three count lunge on one side and then you have the option just to come to your toes or to jump. So it looks like this, I'm showing you this one, yes. Okay, so it's lunge, two, three, and then just stand tall. You can come to your toes or it's lunge, two, three, and jump. You're not switching sides. Okay, and then the second one's gonna be that long lunge, bring your knee in. And nice and quick. Then we'll switch legs. You ready to get started? Here we go. It's one, two, three. Stand tall or add the jump. Jump. You decide. We got. And jump. Lunge. Jump. Just a little bit more. Give me one more. Good job. You got your 10 seconds. And then we're going to be holding that long lunge straight, bringing that back knee in. And go, back knee in. Nice and quick. Arms are going opposite the leg. Bring that heart rate up. Keep going. Four, three, two, break. Okay, other leg. The lunge, three count with the jump. Or just stand tall. Here we go. So it's lunge, two, three, stand tall. Or lunge, two, three, jump. Make it faster if you want to. Jump. Land softly. Woo, keep going. Up. And you're done. One last one. That long lunge. And knee in. Find that nice long lunge. Get ready. Let's go. In. 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 Go faster if you want the challenge. You can slow it down if it's more cardio than you're looking for. Keep going. Good job, you did it. Get some water if you need it. Always add, pause the video if you need a little more time to recover. Walk around a little. Nice deep breaths will help bring your heart rate down. And we have the next option you can choose to do either on the floor or standing. It's entirely up to you. If you're on the floor, it's a little more core. If you are standing, you're going to need something to lean against. You could use a wall or if you have a chair, you can use that. Make sure it's a pretty sturdy chair and it's not going to slide away from you. So if you're at your chair, you're going to find your plank position. Glute lifts. So lift. If you would rather come to the floor, I'm showing standing and then I'll show it on the floor. But either way, you're in your plank position, whatever that is. Lifting your leg behind you. Lift. Lift. Lift, hold this one up, hold, and lift here, little lifts. And then hold, bring your knee into the side and back, in and back, in, in, four, three, two, back to just plank and hold. We're gonna do the other side. I'll finish this round standing and then we'll do one more round on the floor. I think we got time. You ready? Shoulders down and back. Glute lifts with your other leg. Here we go. It's lift and low. Lift. 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 Four. Three. Two. Hold it up. Eight little lifts. Lift. 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 If you get tired, you do not have to have that supporting leg elevated. Three, two, one. Hold it there. Knee in 
into the side. Here we go. It's in, in, in. Four, three, two, last one. Let that go. We're going to do that same thing on the floor. If you had enough challenge standing, you can do it again standing or join me on the floor. If you need a mat, grab that too. You can always hit pause and then come on. Find your plank position. You can be on long leg or elbows, whichever feel, or long arms, long leg. Long arm or elbows. You can be on your knees or straight leg. There you go, there are all the options. Find your plank and hold. We've got the leg lift. So remember, you are our right leg. Let's lift. Two, three, four. And hold. Eight little lifts. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And hold. Now bring that knee in. Two, three, and four. Come on down, take a break if you need it. Otherwise, keep holding. And the other side, you're almost there. And then we will stretch. Hold that up. Eight glute lifts. Eight. Four. Three. Two. Hold it up, little lifts. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, one, and four knees in, knee in, 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 and last one. Come back to plank. Come on down. Great work. Hold that in child's pose. Nice deep breaths. If you're like me, you start noticing all the sweat when you move to the floor. Nice deep breath in. Walk your fingers towards one side. Back to center. Walk your fingers to the other side. Feel that nice stretch through your side. Back to center. Come on up to your hands and knees. Nice neutral spine. Little cat cow. Inhale. Exhale and curl your spine towards the ceiling. Inhale, exhale to cow. Inhale, exhale to cat. Inhale, exhale to cow. Great job. Bring your hand, come to neutral spine. Come on up to your knees. Step forward with one leg. Lean in. Feel that nice stretch. Come on back. Extend that front leg. Fold forward. Nice deep breaths in and out. Feel that stretch. Come on back up, switch legs, step out in front, lean in, feel that stretch in your hip flexor. And push and extend that front leg, fold forward, bring your nose towards your knee, feel that nice hamstring stretch, breathe in and out. And come on up, have a seat, cross one leg over, walk your bottom foot in until you feel a nice stretch, inhale, exhale, and press your chest toward your shin. Yes, I'm totally dripping sweat now. I was fine until we started the blanks. <laughs> it doesn't help that it is a Nice rainy day while I'm recording this, so it's a little bit darker than average, and it's also nice and humid, so. Adds to the sweat. 
and release. Other side, cross one leg over. Walk that bottom foot in until you feel a nice stretch. Inhale, exhale, and push your chest gently toward your chin just to get a little bit more out of that stretch. Just nice, relax into it. Feel those muscles just lengthening and relaxing. And release. Bring the soles of your feet together. Hold your toes. Inhale, exhale, and fold forward. Another big inhale, exhale. Just feel that stretch. And come on up. If there's anything else you feel like you need to stretch, go ahead. Otherwise, you can always hit pause, stretch whatever you need. Otherwise, we are done for today, and I hope you had a great time, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.